We're talking about an article that appeared on a website called Seven Tips for Preventing Infidelity. And I'm amazed at how clueless some people are. You can call us here toll-free at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Sydney on the Tom Lycus like Show. Hi. Sydney. How are you doing, Tom? All right. Were your parents hoping for a boy? <laughs> I hope not. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. I'm kind of having the same problem that your previous caller's been talking about. I've been dating this guy for seven months, and around Christmas time, my ex-boyfriend called me. And so I told him, you know, and he made me tell him not to call me. Well, my boyfriend's previous girlfriend, he dated for two years, and now she's been calling him the whole time we've been going out, text messaging him, doing everything. And in the beginning, I was just like, you know, and it's okay, like, she'll stop and get over it, you know? But she never did. Why do you have a boyfriend at AT? Um, I don't know. He's a good guy. He's my best friend. Ugh. Your best friend who likes keeping in touch with his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, that's where I feel kind of like a fool. Let me ask you a question. Okay. If If he's your best friend, wouldn't he tell you everything? Yeah, and see, that's the thing is I trust him because he's told me things. Before that, he knew it would hurt me, you know? Like what? Uh, well, I'm not a big drug user. I've never done a drug in my life, you know? Right. And neither is he. And kind of like an agreement is that he wouldn't do it, you know? And once he, he did, and I kind of looked at it, okay, you know, that's it's his life, you know? And I respect him for telling me that. How about everything about his relationship with his ex-girlfriend? Has he told you everything about that? Uh. He goes into detail about it. Yeah, I pretty much stop him from doing it, though. See, I don't like to hear that kind of stuff. Well, the the reason you don't like hearing it is because he shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, well, pretty much. And I kind of feel like a fool because I told my ex-boyfriend, you know, I, I can't do this. I respect him. And after seven months of me nagging at my boyfriend now, like, he just... See, men me. and women who do this have do have one thing in common. Uh -huh. They're keeping their options open in case the current relationship doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Now, women don't generally intend to F around with their ex-boyfriends, but right. they keep them warming up in the bullpen just in case they need them. Yeah. Guys will take free pieces of ass anywhere they can get them, <laughs> and that is why we keep in touch with exes. Yep. You see? So the bottom line here is, you, first of all, you're too young to have a boyfriend. I don't care how good a friend he is. Okay. Yeah. And you don't know everything that's going on with him and his ex-girlfriend. Does okay. he ever see her? Well, that's the thing. Is like she'll be at parties. I actually had a conversation with her, and she's not that cool of a person. You know, like if she was really cool, I'd be like, you know what, she's a cool person. Does like, he ever see her without you? As far as I know, no. As far as you know, but you, you believe he does. I believe he does, and I've questioned him on it, and he just gets mad at me, which makes me believe that he is. You know. Well. And, oh, to, like, to top it off, the other day, uh, I was playing tic-tac-toe on his phone, and I just had this thought to look at his previous phone numbers. And one of them, his ex-girlfriend called, and he didn't tell me, you know? Well? And he yells at me and tells me to back off, and he needs his privacy, but I don't trust him, you well, know? Well, he's your best friend. Why does he need privacy? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's your best friend, right? right. I, I don't think he's your best friend. I don't, nah. All right, so you're no, 18. You're too young to have a boyfriend to start with. Okay. I mean, if it were me and I were you, here's what I'd say. Look, you can have your privacy, and I need my privacy, too. Yeah. And I've got a few exes I need to talk to. So yeah. back off and give me some space. In fact, you know what? Uh, how about we only see each other once in a while? Well, that way you'll have plenty of space. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. See, I, I try doing a thing like, okay, if that's what you want, you want to talk to her, go ahead and do it, you know? Just don't do it with me there. Like, just giving him the opportunity, you know? If that's what you want, then have it. I'm not going to be mad, but I just want to, like, make sure you're happy, you know? You are mad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you tolerate this stuff? I don't know. Then stop doing it. That's a good idea. I just tell him it's over. Yeah. He can have all the space he likes. 
Anybody tells me they want space, I give them unlimited space. I tell them, here, here's how I'm going to give you your space. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Now you got space. My God, it's like uh, it's like Wyoming. You got space, okay? You got the wide open plains here. Yeah, so just give him the opportunity if that's what he wants, take it, right? And that's it. And uh, and then move on. And uh, you know what? You're too young for a boyfriend anyway. Yeah. You should be dating and having fun. I don't know. That's just not the kind of person I am, though. Dear, I'm telling you, the guys you go out with, they're all doing it. Yeah. You should be, too. I'm not saying you have to have sex with all of them. (laughs) But you might just want to go to the movies with one guy or go to the opera with another guy. Or maybe you know a guy who would actually go to a chick flick with you or something like that. Why can't you just have different guys you do things with? I never thought about it that way. You're 18. Yeah. I mean, you you should be open to anything at this point. Yeah. There's plenty of time to have a boyfriend down the line. Are you going to college? No, I don't go to college. I work a full-time job. You know, you've got all kinds of options to have fun. What if uh, your girlfriends wanted to go on a vacation to, like, I don't know, Europe, Australia? Yeah. You know, the Caribbean. What would your boyfriend say? I think he'd be okay with it. But yeah, I yeah, but back his head, he'd use it against me. Well, then he'd probably be spending even more time talking to his ex. That's my point. Why yeah. should you even be worrying about this stuff? That's true. At 18, you should be traveling. You should be meeting people. Yeah. You should be hanging out, doing stuff. Having experiences you'll remember the rest of your life. There's enough time to be committed and responsible and stuck and have kids and be married and feel like you're with the ball and chain. Why do you need that now? I don't know. With a guy who wants to talk to his ex-girlfriend all the time. Yeah, that's true. And needs a space. Yeah. Who needs that? Give him his space. Permanently. Permanently? Permanently. I'll do that. Do it. Okay. <laughs> we'll call him right now if you want. We can call him up. We can do it right now. No, it's Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to see him later tonight, so if he wants his space, he can have his space. I feel very empowered now. <laughs> you you should feel empowered. I do. Because you don't have to put up with that stuff. You know what? I'm getting tired of people telling me I'm controlling and I'm this and I'm that. I'm not controlling. You he, can he, do... He gives me the same thing. He calls me controlling and all this stuff when he's the one who tells me you can't talk to your ex Oh, that's my right point. Now. You tell him I'm not controlling what you do. You can do whatever you want, but so can I. And what I want to do is be with somebody who doesn't want to talk to his ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's it. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to be looking at your phone bills or looking into your phone. or Fine. You do what you like. Yeah. I'm going to find somebody who wants to be with me and me only. That's it. Yeah. I'm I'm so tired of this crap. You know what? It, 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 It took me until I was 46 years old to figure this out. You know what? It's no accident that so many relationships break up and so many people get divorced. Everybody is so afraid of appearing to be uh, uh, intolerant. Everybody is so afraid of appearing to be controlling that they just let the other person do whatever they want. Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, I respect him, and I figure, like, his judgment is his own, you know? Yeah, but it affects you. It does. And that's where it kind of came to a point. Like, after seven months, he hasn't done anything, you know? But he made me snap to do something for him, and it's just kind of like he doesn't respect me like that, you know? Well, you know what, though? He was reasonable to expect you not to be with the next boyfriend. It's yeah. equally reasonable to expect him not to be with the next girlfriend. Yeah. And it's, there is nothing wrong with having rules for each other as long as they are fair and equal. Yeah. And you can make rules for yourself. Certain things you don't have to tolerate. Yeah. I, after years of having the wild, wild west in my life and having total anarchy, I finally learned I had to make rules for myself. And then if I'm going to be with anybody, it's going to be somebody who can live with my rules. Yeah. I don't tell other people what to do. I just don't want to be with people who don't want to be with the, in situations like the ones I want to be in. Yeah, and that's I'm not being controlling. I'm controlling myself, thank you. Yeah. And you have the right to do that, too. 
Now, yeah, Dean is convinced you will not break up with him. You'll back out at the last minute, and tomorrow you'll he'll still be your boyfriend. That's what he says. You know what, though? Like, after seven months and, like, just the, the hell he's put me through, you know, of uh, back off, leave me alone, shut up, stop interrogating me, you know? It's kind of like if that's what he wants, then that's what he can have because I don't deserve that, you know? Well, the point is, if you were with somebody who did uh, the kinds of things uh, of a person you want to be dating, you wouldn't have to be interrogating him. Yeah, exactly. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about him. I would trust him completely. But the fact that you have to ask those questions means you have doubts. And you have doubts because he's doing things that you don't agree with. And, and you shouldn't be telling him what to do. You shouldn't. Yeah. You shouldn't be interrogating him. You should simply tell him, hey, you have any friends you want. And I can date anyone I want. Thank you. I like that idea, Tom. Go for it, Sydney. All right. Thank you very much. Good luck. Tom. 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 One eight hundred five eight hundred. Oh man, it is good to hear your voice. Yes, I know. The Tom Likey Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. He's Jack Jellabo number two. Hello. Hey. Hey. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Chad. Hey, I got the situation. I'm the I'm the boyfriend in the the whole situation, and this ex keeps coming around. Your ex. No, no, my, I'm with the girl right now for a little over a year, and her ex keeps coming around the family and all the family events. I wanted to know what I should do as far as maybe taking him in the back alley or, you know. It's not, it's not his stuff. fault. It's not his fault. Nope, it's her fault for letting him. I need to get her, huh? She's the one who has to stop. Well, what's his deal? Why can't he just stop? Look, don't worry about it. Guys will go after a piece of meat wherever it is. You know, you know what? Throw a steak outside. Every dog in the neighborhood is going to come over. Why can't they stay off your front lawn? Yeah. Because it's steak. That's true. You tell, you tell the sirloin rump roast over there that she's got to stop uh, uh, attracting the other dogs in the neighborhood. Right. I mean, why is he allowed to enter family events? Yeah, well, it's because of her, actually because of her parents. You know, they, why they doesn't she? Really. Why doesn't she say that's my ex-boyfriend and it's causing problems in my relationship? They 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 consider him a stud. Why doesn't she say this? She, I think she has. She has. I don't even think. Has she, she has. said she it in front of you? That. No, not in front of me. You tell her you and she are going to her parents and you're going to sit down with them together and you're going to explain why this is a problem. Okay. And you can't attend events if he's going to be there. Okay. You want me to put the... I should put the ledge in there, though, huh? Yes. Be a man. Stand up. By the way, you're 23. What are you doing with a girlfriend? That's a good girl. I don't it's care. Good. Bang her and bang other chicks. Why do you need to have a girlfriend? You know, she's, she's a keeper. You know, you got keepers every now and then, don't you? I find the keepers. 25, huh? Right. This is okay. the keeper who won't tell her ex-boyfriend to go away. Make her parents make the ex-boyfriend go away. All right. By the way, I'll bet that's not the only thing he's doing, right? Yeah, she's probably talking to him also. Uh, he emails her, but, I mean, she tells me everything. He, she tells me when he calls, when, when yeah, he... But why does she take his calls? Why does she take them? Yeah. Unavailable number, I guess. I mean, just answers the phone. How, I, you know what? When my phone uh, rings with a blocked caller ID, I don't answer it. All right. Yeah, that's how you get rid of them. I have a girlfriend. How do I get rid of uh, my exes? When it says blocked ID, I don't pick up. Good idea. I mean, it's easy. If you want to get rid of them, you can get rid of them. But she she do doesn't want to get rid of them. No. No, right. you can get rid of her. <laughs> and that's the way you do it. You tell her, this stops or I stop. Yeah. Uh, okay. Easy, easy. Yeah, okay, okay. Be I a goddamn right man, now. will you? <laughs> yeah, twenty-three. Yeah. I hear you, Tom. Parents, uh, parents still married? Is what? Are your parents still married? Mine? Yeah. No. Uh huh. Is that what it is, huh? Uh huh. Meow. Why does that got to do with anything? Because if, if you would put it this way, you if you're a real man, you'd step up to the plate and stop this today. Just ending it, huh? Well, you'd stop. You'd tell her either the ex stops, 
or I'm let's, gone. Let's call her up, Tom. All right, I'm in. Hold on. We're going to call her right now. We'll put her on after the break here. Coming up, Jeff on a cell phone. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah. Hey, Tom. Jeff. You are so on target with these guys. I. This guy's in denial with his chick. That last chick was in denial with herself. Uh-huh. One of the biggest scams out there right now is that damn classmates.com thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're all going to get on and discuss the biology final from 20 years ago. Fair me. I went on there to find a bud. Next thing I get, 40 emails from girls I cut it off with. Right, exactly. Whatever you're in the neighborhood, hit me up. Well, you should, uh, be, you should uh, be on classmates.com and be uh, a public figure. Oh, right. Yeah. Try that figure. sometime. And all the girls who wouldn't talk to you in high school... Um, I believe they're I use it fascinated for a reason. <laughs> I got the hell out. You know what I say about all the girls in high school who wouldn't talk to me, right? Tell me. I well, I said that in high school, it didn't work. Okay. But uh, <laughs> you know what I say now? I say you're too late because now I can afford your daughters. Absolutely. Ah! <laughs> Blow me up, Tommy. All right, Jeff. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. He's our telephone number. Oh, is that so? So Chad pussied out once he got on with Dino. Oh yeah, let's call her. Yeah, he got on with Dino. Oh, he's pressed for time. Mm hmm. How convenient, you pussy. I called it right off the bat. Meow. Unbelievable. Any man who puts up with that is not a real man. You just send your testicles right in, put them in an envelope, and send them to Tom Likas, Old Office Box 4455, Hollywood, California, 90046. They'll have to be hand-canceled, though. The Tom Likas Show. Laura on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Hi, Laura. I just wanted to call and tell you that in this situation, I 100% totally agree with you. It is completely up to the person to just draw the line in the sand and say, I'm not going to take this anymore and just put it out there because it has nothing to do with the ex knocking on the door. It completely has to do with your partner and how they're acting. Yes. So anyway, I just want to tell you. I yes. Agree. You just have to say, look, and that's the thing. I can't make anybody do what I want them to do. No. But what but I can do is I can decide who to be involved with and who not to be. Exactly. And I completely agree with you about giving people the space the size of Montana because it's like if you don't want to, if you don't want me involved, well then, you know what? I don't need to be involved at all. And uh -huh. that's kind of like the only thing you can control anyway. Bing, bang, boom. Ricardo, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. What's up? Not much. Hey, I just broke up with my girlfriend about, uh, Two months ago, right before Thanksgiving, uh -huh. uh, for the same problem that she kept wanting to keep in touch with her old friends. And uh, I started out as email, you know, just sporadic here and there. But then, you know, I started reading them. And she caught me reading a couple of them, and then she, like, told me to stop reading them, this and that. So that got me even more curious. Uh huh. So, you know, I finally uh, read one that she sent to her friend. But she wrote the letter as if she was sending this to a guy friend, uh -huh. telling her or him, that she's in love with him and she wants to marry him, this and that. And this is why we were together. So, you know, I, when I read that, you know, I got upset. I didn't say anything. So what I did is I just went, you know, out of state for a few months. During that time, she broke up with me. She, you know, she said I left her, this and that. So, you know, when I came back, you know, she said she wanted to work things out, this and that. And, you know, she asked me, you know, why, what happened? What, you know, you didn't say anything. You just left. So I told you, you know, I, I seen all the emails. And I read this particular letter, and, you know, that, that did it for me. So then, you know, we talked about it. I decided, okay, you know, if uh, you want to stop, you know, I'll give another shot, right? So, um, you know, a little bit later than that, I started noticing she started having different friends. But these friends were, like, away from me. She would not, like, hang out with me and them at the same time. So I started getting, you know, more and more and more curious. Yeah. And I started asking about these friends, and these pictures started showing up of our guys here and there, you know, and I asked her, you know, what was going on. And uh, this particular guy, right, kept showing up over and over again. And I asked her, you know, who is this guy? And she said, oh, it's just a friend, right, my best friend's cousin. So I asked her, you know, do you have his number, right? It's like, no, 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 this is just an acquaintance, you know. This, this guy just happens to be there at the same time I'm hanging out with my best friend. So, you know... Along, you know, the story, and then I, uh, for some reason, I got a hold of her cell phone, 
because uh, mine was dead. And then uh, I started going through her numbers, right? And I seen this guy, the same guy. And I confronted her about it. And uh, this is just one guy. There was other guys on that phone list that she had not talked about, right? Uh -huh. And these are new fellas. Right. And so when I told her about it, you know, I caught her on the live. She didn't know what to say. And I told her, well, you know, either this stops or I'm out of there. You uh -huh. know, I gave her an ultimatum. Uh huh. So, and, uh, well, after that, she couldn't say anything. She couldn't promise me that this wouldn't happen again. So I left. I told her I wasn't going to come back, and that's it. I mean, I don't know. I've been thinking about it, and I, sometimes I feel like I was maybe too abrupt. To nope, you did the right thing. Move on. Don't so, put up with that stuff. So that's it. That's my story. I'm feel good about it. Hey, you know, sometimes I feel kind of weird about it, but I didn't want to be in that situation to where I was wondering where she was, who she was with whether she was cheating on me or not. You shouldn't have to be wondering about any of that stuff. Thanks for the call. Tara on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tara. <laughs> you are a smart man, and you're dispensing excellent advice. And let me tell you that the biggest mistake yeah. I ever made was keeping in touch with an ex. Uh, it pretty much almost ruined a really good relationship I have, and it put myself and my current boyfriend in physical danger because my ex went nuts. He, we, I thought after like seven months that, you know, he'd be cool. We could go play pool or something. And it's just contrived. I mean, no ex wants to be friends with you. They don't support your new relationship. They just want to see it destroyed. They want to undermine it. Exactly. And that's exactly what he was doing. And so it, it ended up, we went out and played pool and I thought everything would be okay. And then he's like, fine, if you're not getting back in a relationship with me, then don't have anything to do with me. I said, okay, that's fine. We'll never talk. Don't call. Fine. Sure enough, he called my cell phone later that evening, time after time after time, when I was sleeping, and he got my boyfriend on the phone and basically threatened both myself and my boyfriend, said he was going to ruin our lives, he was going to track us down, and, and told my, my current boyfriend now things like that I kissed him or that I was in his bed. And, you know, where did I have? I had new recourse because I went behind my boyfriend's back and hung out with my ex. And I was trying to tell him, well, these things are lies, but... The bottom line is, any contact with an ex is, it, it's just not. By the way, uh, had your boyfriend known you were going and hanging out with him and playing pool? No, I, I didn't tell him because I knew he was against it. Because So you had, had no credibility with him because you'd already hidden stuff from him. Exactly. Well, no, it was only one time that I went to hang out with Doesn't him. Doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. And so I, like, ruined my entire credibility with my current boyfriend. I mean, it is... Sheer by sheer like grace on his part that there was anything to work with. I mean, he basically told me, "You're out. This is over. I don't believe anything you say." And I couldn't blame him. And basically, you know, he decided to give me one more shot. But I'm grounded. And let me tell you, I don't go anywhere without my boyfriend. I don't do anything socially without him. I make sure that my phone is with me all the time. That he can get a hold of me. And I don't care. You know, I'm on a short leash. I deserve to be on that short leash because I made a huge, huge, foolish mistake. And you know, I had to change my phone number. I had to put blocks on my emails and to get away from this crazy ex. And yeah. there's no no contrived friendship with an ex is worth is worth it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's I totally 100% agree with you. And I say this as somebody who in the past has been a very bad boy. Yeah. And I don't want to be a bad girl, and I don't want to ruin a good relationship. And I'm thankful that my ex gave me a second shot, but. You know, I couldn't blame him if tomorrow he's like, I, our trust is never going to be where it is and you have to go because mm -hmm. I screwed up and it's not worth it. And my ex is so crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I hope the uh, other girls out there are paying attention. Yeah, exactly. You will ruin a good thing if you decide you want to keep in contact with an ex. It is just not worth it. Tara, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. The Tom Like is Show, 1-800-5800. Ah! Yeah, hello. Jan. Hello. Is that a question or a statement, Jan? I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. I've been sitting on hold. Are, am I on? Oh, did you want to talk to Tom? Yes. All right, hold on, please. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. 
This is Jan. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. How are you? I'm great. Hello. I said I'm great. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't hear you. Oh. I, w- I want to let you know I'm a new listener. The guys that I worked with used to tell me all about you. Mm-hmm. And they used to tell me what a great guy you are about telling women how bad they were. And you really aren't that bad of a person. And I wanted to let you know at the beginning of the show you're apologizing or being a controlling freak or whatever. Don't apologize. You are just... um respecting the person that you're with and you, you know what no I, I don't even you. care about them i'm respecting myself exactly exactly and and don't apologize for that that's great and the more i've listened to you have only been a couple of weeks and um god you're not as bad as they made you out to be i guess i'm not working hard enough no <laughs> i'm 46 too so you know what we've gone through a lot of stuff in our lives and i don't think it's you know, your ideas aren't all that bad. There you go. I had an opinion about that girl uh, that's doing the, the um, sales job yep. at the beginning of the show. Yeah, she's in Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've worked construction all my life. I've worked with men all my life since I was in my early 20s. And if she doesn't give her personal information and has to go out and do this stuff, then she's fine. Once she gets intimate and they they wrap her into this personal information stuff, then she has trouble. Yeah, and then it's time to go. Adrian on the Tom Likas Show. What's up, Tom? I've been waiting to talk to you for such a long time, Tom. Here we are. I got to tell you, man, your advice, I'm not lying, dude, has changed my, like, ways of thinking, and I'm so glad I, like, started listening to you. I My outtake on life is so different now. Really? Really? Are you getting laid more? Most definitely. That's good. And I'm so glad that you brought this topic up today because I was in a relationship that I'm not in now, and I'm so glad I'm where I'm at now. It worked out so much better for me now uh-huh. than what it was like before. When I was in that relationship, I was on a leash. <sighs> Couldn't handle it, Tom. Right. Got to get out of those relationships. Did she have kids? No, no. We didn't have no kids, thank God. Or else I'd be really regretting things. Good. Good for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Tom? I do. But you know what I'm saying? you got to stay away from them Salvadorian women. Crazy. I totally agree. Oh, no, no, no. I've been down that road. I've made that mistake more than once. I'm glad I only got into a serious relationship with one of them. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Adrian, and I thank you for the call. Justin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How the hell are you? Uh, pretty good, Justin. Right on. Hey, I'm not sure if I agree with you on this one, man. The uh, I was dating a girl for two years, and we broke up, and I was not with her for two years. But in that two years, every now and again, we'd talk, you know? Why? Email, blah, blah, blah. Why? Why not? It didn't... It's it, over. We ended on good terms. She moved away, and we just couldn't be together anymore. So every three, four weeks, we'd email, hey, how, what's up, what's up, how's it going? Ball, so ball. you're admitting that you broke up only because she had to move away. Otherwise, you'd still be with her. You're right about that. That makes your current girlfriend sloppy seconds. I don't know about that. That's exactly you know what it is. You're, a, you're only with her because the other one moved away. Uh-huh. She'd have every right to feel slighted. Huh. That was two years ago. I'd I'd dump if if the genders were reversed. I'd dump your ass. Really? No doubt about it. You think so? I don't think so. I know so. So, okay. So two years ago, I break up with a girl that I was with. Oh, you're still mooning after? No. Come on. What if she said she was moving back to where you are? Oh well. She right. can do whatever she wants. Yeah, like, right. I get an email from her every little while. It's, what's up? How are you? How what do you write on? about? What's that? What do you write about? I get, every so often, I get... What like, do uh, you I, I write know. about? No, no, I don't care what she's saying. What are you writing to her about? I tell her how work's going. I tell her how school's going. I tell her... 
just what's up? How's it going? Do you have other things to do? Why why does she want to know any of that stuff? She's not part of your life anymore. She moved away. The relationship ended because she left you behind in the rearview mirror. Stop being a pussy. Maybe you're right about that, Tom. She um, dumped you. Yeah, true. Pussy. Uh, Maybe I am a pussy. Tom, I am a pussy. You win. Thank you. Damn straight, uh, you're a pussy. Five eight hundred Tom. Man. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. I like your show, but I don't agree with everything, and I just want. But to... you can't stop listening. It's like a bad car wreck. All of a sudden, you 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 see one, you, you stop on the highway. Oh wait! Oh no! Oh God! All oh, the humanity! Oh Jesus! It's the Tom Likey Show. The Tom Likey Show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Anne. Hello, Anne. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes, eh? Um, I was uh, in a relationship recently with this guy, probably about nine months, and um, he has this ex-girlfriend that he has known since they were in, like, third grade, and they are best friends, and then they started going out, and they were going out for, like, 14, 15 years, I don't know, and then they broke up about five years ago, she dumped him and she got a new boyfriend and they'd remain friends and I knew him in high school and uh, I bumped into him like I said about nine months ago and we started going out and I knew they were friends but I didn't really know how good of friends Mm -hmm. so um, it finally when I started caring a little bit more about him his friendship with her started to really bother me so um, I started telling him about it And he says, oh, we're just buddies, and, you know, he would always, like, hang out with her once in a while, and um, I just didn't like it. So I pretty much told him it's her or me, and he didn't quite get that, you know. And then uh, before that happened, before it started bothering me, I got pregnant. So I really couldn't, like, dump him, you know. And now I finally, I finally got wise, and I said... Don't call me anymore. Call her. You got problems. You know, just leave me alone. It's about time. What? I said it's about time. I know, but it's been really difficult. But I believe, I really do believe they are friends. And one time I even followed him. We were having, I don't know, problems or whatever. I followed him straight to her house. And I watched him lay on the bed with her. Well, well uh, there you go. It's yeah, like watching an episode of Cheaters, for Christ's sake. The Tom Likas Show.